at six, the Rhode Island Department of Transportation is thinking about closing one of the Providence exits for good. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen spoke with RIDOT about the plan to close the Gano Street exit and create a new one. Steve? We'll take a look at the Washington Bridge here behind me. Traffic obviously moving just fine right now this hour, but it's not always the case. Repairs are actually underway right now to the Washington Bridge, and Alvini said they decided to take a look at what that bridge will look like in 50 years. He said retooling the ramps will have a major change on congestion for decades. If you've been on 195 West at rush hour, you know it. It's a bottleneck. That crossover right there that happens is the primary cause of the congestion. Rhode Island Department of Transportation Director Peter Alviti says they found the backup comes from the Gano Street exit and all of the cars changing lanes to make it in time. Well, now RIDOT's applied for a $25 million federal grant to retool the ramps while tens of millions of dollars in repairs are already underway at the Washington Bridge. Alviti wants to eliminate the Gano Street exit, instead create a new exit in East Providence before the river that would lead drivers north to the Henderson Expressway. That bridge is also set for repairs. So you can see the, the traffic jam that extended Seacock yep. would be virtually eliminated. So this new ramp would allow traffic that's looking to get to South Angel Street to get there faster and safer than taking the Gano Street exit and going through all of these side roadways. In total, that project would now cost $70 million, but only $14 million would be state dollars if the federal grant is approved. Gano Street is already closed right now for repairs, so this would make the change permanent. Alvidi said if this is approved by the feds, they'd be able to finish work by 2024. He said they'll spend the next year holding informational seminars discussing that plan with city leaders and the public. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.